Hey, Brewery Feed Adventures here. <clears throat> Just got set up at my campsite. Um, this particular RV we got last year, it has auto leveling. So it's actually putting the feet down um, level. So it's checking the level on each ones. The back ones are going down. And if you can hear it, actually you can actually see the auto leveling system in here. It's going through its paces and checking each of the feet around the RV making sure that um, the RV is level. Um, I mean, you can't just drop the RV anywhere and it level itself out. It has to be fairly even. This campsite happens to be, most campsites are pretty good at giving you a level surface. So it'll go and do its thing and it make sure it's level front to back and side to side. Um, so that's one of the first things I do once I unhook from the uh you can't see it my bike's in the way but there is a hitch that's mounted in my um pickup truck that hitches to that little connector right there and once i get unhooked um i put the feet down in the front and then i hit the auto level and i let it do its thing so that's uh first uh first bit first order of business a finger's in the way <laughs> So first order of business is to get the um, RV level. Then you can start putting the slide outs out, put the stairs down. Um, the bed's already made up in here, so I don't have to do that. Um, so that's it. Brand new RV. This is the third time taking it out. So just coming, uh, just giving you guys an update about uh, what's going on with brew, brew and feed adventures this year. So. Uh, stick around. I'll be posting some stuff. I'm here in Charleston, South Carolina. I'll be posting uh, some of the activities that I'm working on as far as uh, cooking and craft beer. So check it out. Brew strong and feed well. Oh, hey, what's up? You caught me washing dishes. I'm getting cleaned up today. We break camp. We're going to be leaving today. But uh, before we leave, I wanted to give you a tour of the uh, Freestyler. So let's uh, let's start here. Where we're at, right? Let's start right here. So you got a kitchen island. You got a stove with three eyes and a um, and an oven. Got some accent lighting along the uh, the buttons or the knobs. Got a, a full microwave. And hopefully you can see it, but there's a full refrigerator over here. I'll move the camera so you can take a look at it. So this is a full-size refrigerator. Something that would be in a house. Got a freezer with two doors. We got full-size uh, refrigerator with plenty of places to put stuff. Uh, Let's see. Let's uh let's check out the dining room and the in the living room. Okay, so this is the dining room. You got four chairs, a full dinette set. You can come in here, have dinner, lunch. We usually use it, I usually use it for working on my laptop. It's a good place to sit down and, and punch on the keys. Um, you got your Recliner chairs. Let's uh, swing around over here. So you got four recliner chairs, so you can just kind of chill out. And they recline all the way back, too. So you can just chill out, watch TV. That's pretty dope. There's a compartment in here where you can put your remotes. There's two cup holders where you can put your, your cups glasses the um the rest of the living room looks like that uh it has a pull out um couch so this is a couch bed it pulls out for two full two adults can lay on this couch um i think it might be a little bit too short for me because i'm six three <laughs> six two um you have a full size hd tv and you have a, a um, fireplace. 
This fireplace is pretty cool. It's got a thermostat built into it. Uh, the thermostat allows you to set the temperature. It's got a little fan that blows heat. It's all electric, so you don't have to use your propane or waste propane and just to heat up the, this part of the RV. You can change the color. It's got multiple different color modes. See, it's blue. Then it's orange. And then it's kind of an orange and blue mixed together, like a turquoise, I guess you would call that. So that's the living room. On the side of, on each side of this uh, pullout bed, there is a um, a little nook, a little I don't know, a little shelving unit. And that shelving unit has space in there, but it's also got plugs and USB connectors in it um, on both sides. So whoever's sleeping here, they can plug in their laptop to charge it. They can plug in their phone, an alarm clock, uh, anything that they need. To, uh, to plug in. You can see in the corner there, we got some wax candle melts that we use to keep it nice and fresh in here. Um, let's check out the ceiling. So on the ceiling, we have um, a nice little lighting unit above the, above the island. There's a bunch of ceiling lights up there, which I have on right now that light this place up pretty good. Uh, there are speakers. There's two speakers, one on each end on that side to give you sound for, through, your speed, through your stereo system because there is a little uh, stereo system uh, down here. I'll zoom in on that. There's a little stereo system right there. We also got a sound bar I added to this TV to give it better sound. Uh, but that stereo plays through those speakers. Um, you got some more cabinetry over here. So more cabinet space. We got our espresso machine over there, a bunch of junk that I grab when I leave out of here, some snacks. Um, you got more cabinet space up here where you put dishes, glasses, uh, extra paper towels and stuff. So that's the main space. I'll give you the full view of the whole space. This is what it looks like from the full view. Um, these things are slide out. So the thing with the frame right here and the frame right here, these are slide out. So that's what gives you your extra floor space. That's the reason I like travel trailers over um, the uh, Class A bus type RVs. The bus type RVs are convenient. Um, if you get one with a double slide out, it's going to be uh, more than four, four times the price of what this RV cost just to get this much floor space and an island and all this stuff. Um, some of these that I've seen, they have ceiling fans in them. Another little cool thing about this is that that little strip right there, that white strip, that's an accent light. Let me turn that on. And so at night, that gives it some good ambiance in here because both both of these have that. So I'm going to turn this one on too. This one has that as well. So you have that accent lighting, this accent lighting. Um, you got some more accent lighting too. Yeah. So the I'll turn off the ceiling light. That'll give you a better view of it. So there's accent lighting around the, um, the island on the top around the counter. And then there's accent lighting on the floor on the bottom. Um, and then you got your blue accent lights on the stove and then you got the, um, the fireplace. So at night, this place looks real cozy with all of the accent lighting. This counter also has the accent lighting around the counter as well. Um, so I'll take you upstairs. So upstairs in the front of the RV, um, there's a little stairway and a hallway, and that's where the bathroom is located at, and the bedrooms in the back. And I'll go to I'll go ahead and show you that. Okay, so this is the bathroom. I think you can get a good view of most of it. You got your full size shower. You have a full-size toilet. There's a window. There's a ceiling fan. Um, and there's two um, sinks in here. So two sinks gives you, me and my wife, we can have our own sink. You got plenty of counter space, plenty of, plenty of cabinet space and drawers. Um, you got a little cabinet up here. So that's the, that's the bathroom. I'll give you, I'll actually take the camera in there so you can actually see um, the shower. Is a full-size shower I can fit in there without with no problem you have um, this area over here where the, the sinks are 
Retrieve all your stuff. And that's that. And then you have the bedroom. So let's see if I can get this stand in here to the bedroom. Okay, so this is the bedroom. Um, and in the bedroom, what you have is a king size bed. You can see my luggage there because I'm packing up, getting ready to go. You have a king size bed and you have windows on each side of the bed. There's electricity just on one side of the bed, on the, on the wall. And then there's some USB things there in case you want to charge a phone or, or something. Have your phone there as an alarm clock when you're in the bed. There's a closet over here. This closet is pretty decent size. It has room to hang stuff. So you can see I got my pants hanging here. Um, it's got a shelf. You also have what's pretty cool. Here, I'll take this off real quick. And what you have in here, see you can hang stuff in there. You got your shelving unit. You got more shelving here. And what's pretty cool about this RV is that it has this big cabinet space, but this cabinet space is also a place to put a washer and dryer. You can either have a washer on the top and a dryer on the bottom or vice versa. And you can see they have the hookups there for the water and the, um, the drainage. Or you can have one of those combo units that have has both that does both wash and dry. So it'll all in one cycle. You just turn it on, it washes, and then it'll dry uh, all in one cycle. So you can come back, you can go for a jog, come back, and your clothes are dry and washed. There's a TV in here. There's another. Uh, there's a there's a uh, a chest of drawers. I guess you could call it for putting stuff in. So there's plenty of drawer space. Um, and that's it uh, for here. Oh, this one also has accent lighting. Let me turn that on. So there's accent lighting in this one too, because this is a slide out. Because this bed, this bed stick, this bed, this bed comes in before I when I button up everything to travel. Um, so that gives you more floor space in the bedroom by pushing this out. So there's another slide out. So this one has three slide outs with accent lighting around the the frame. And let's see, what else? Did I miss something? Um, okay, now I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, oh one, one, one thing we really liked about this RV when we got it is it's got a lot of windows. A lot, a lot of windows. And they're big. So it really um, opens up in here. All of these windows open. On the, see, that one's got a little opening there with a screen. There's a big one in the back. So with all of that... Um, open lighting, it makes it really bright in here uh, during the daytime. So there's another full view of the dining room, living room, and kitchen. Uh, trying to think if I didn't miss anything, because there's a lot of cool little features about this RV. Um, there's, another, there's more cabinet space in the kitchen. Put all your cooking stuff course i got spices and sauces and olive oil and all that stuff um we got gr griddles and waffle makers and stuff in there uh i think i covered all the bases oh there's other little lighting little lights under here give you some light while you're sitting in the chair there's more lighting here so if you want to do some it's yes, a reading light so if somebody wants to read in the, when they're sitting in the couch or laying in the bed that's it uh so I hope you enjoyed the tour of the RV. Here, let me let me take you outside real quick and show you something I didn't show on the first tour. This RV has double um, awnings. So when you're chilling, like right now, the sun is out. You got some good shade right here. Of course, this this campsite has a big shade tree next to it, but there's a um, couple of um, awnings here where you can uh, chill out I have a TV I don't have it out here right now but there's a television connection uh, right here so there's a you can plug in your TV you could you can get the you can get the cable in the, the cable TV at the campsite if they have it or the antenna which is built into the RV you'll get access to that out here as well this is the bracket that the TV hangs on and you can see I was sitting out here watching some basketball games the other night Oh, another cool thing about this one is the propane hookups for this one um, has an outdoor hookup. So if you get one of those propane griddles or propane grills, 
you can hook it up here and you can you can um, come back here you can grill in the back using propane and this um this thing has a huge storage unit which i think is locked yes yeah, locked but here's the propane tanks propane tanks huge there's one on each side these i didn't know they made propane tanks this big but so those i got most campsites will fill these up for you i'll try to zoom over I, I don't know if i can see it from here yeah you can see it from here if you zoom in over there they have a propane filling station at most campgrounds of america koas and a lot of other campgrounds and they will refill your propane tanks for you so if you if you're running low on propane they can hook you up and usually what i do if i use a lot of propane because i had the heater running all night i will fill up fill up my propane tank before i leave um so that uh for the next trip i'm good to go but i want to show you the storage unit that's on the side of this thing because uh it's pretty impressive so all your extra stuff you're going to want a place to put that and here i need two hands so this this big door opens up there's a magnet right there that holds that open and then in here, I have all my extra stuff. There's a TV that goes in the back on the side. I got some chairs. I got um, a big carpet that I use that comes out. I have my portable pellet smoker in here. Uh, some other miscellaneous stuff. And that goes all the way through to the other side. So this whole compartment is nothing but storage for putting all your stuff. So if you had a, a bike or I got a folding bike, I can throw under there. Um, so this is pretty cool. So this is, allows me to carry a lot of stuff without putting it inside the RV and uh, potentially jam damaging stuff while I'm driving around. And that's it. I gave you a tour of the, outs of the uh, outside the other day when I first got here. But since we're, before we break camp, I wanted to show you around a little bit more of, um, of the uh, Freestyler RV. I call it the Freestyler. It's the Freestyler number four because all of my RVs have been nicknamed Freestylers. But the brand for this one is a um, Astoria. I can't zoom in anymore, can I? This is an Astoria uh, Platinum by Dutchman. It's a, uh, I forgot the model number. The model number is a RL, R. Yeah, it's a, it's a 3173. 3173 RLP 21. So it's a 2021. So this is brand new. We just got it. Um, here's all your hookups. You got a water hookup. I have a filter here because this RV doesn't come with a built in filter. Um, so my water goes in here underneath, and there's a little hookup on the inside of this door. The uh, cable TV, you can see that here. Cable TV line goes in on right there. And then you got your elect electrical line. I've got a really long electrical line this is a 50 amp rv that'll run off a of 50 or 30 amp but if you're running off a of 30 amp service um which you can see here on the left is 30 amp and on the right is 50 amp and then they got one regular uh regular amps for household but if you're running off a of 30 amp with this rv you can only run one of the uh air conditioning units at a time and i just realized i didn't show you that that there's two air conditioning units in here and there's your sewer line uh, this one has one for the bathroom, black tank slash gray tank. So there's two different levers you pull to dump either your black tank, which is your toilet water, or your gray water, which is your shower and your sink water. It's gray water. And then for the kitchen sink, there's a separate gray water one. So when I finish, when I fin usually what I do is I'll dump this gray water first. I'll come over here, I'll dump the black water, and then I'll dump the gray water. And... Uh, push it all out into the sewer every campsite doesn't have a full hookup like that a full hookup is when you have water you have uh, electricity and you have sewer some of them will just have electricity and water some of them will just have electricity and depending on the way your rv set up you'll be able to camp you still you, you should be able to camp without having all three of those because i have a 50 gallon water tank on board that gives me the ability to uh store water and i have a pump a pump that will pump water all i need is electricity oh there's some uh there's some uh, speakers outside too so you can uh, hook up through the bluetooth 
of the speaker of the stereo system here and you can uh you can get yourself um some sounds outside too so i said there was two air conditioning units in here there's one here and you can push air out of the air conditioning unit itself or um when you close the little vent the air gets pushed out through these other little vents that are in the ceiling so that's your air conditioning for the front and then you have a furnace right here that has that controls the ac for the front and the heat for the whole unit um, and i'll explain why that is in a minute but um your heat comes out of these vents there on the on the floor there's one over here that's your heat the furnace is um built into the rv i don't even know where i don't even know where the furnace is on this one <laughs> Um, you got a control unit here. Um, this little thing is cool because it, it, it opens up this, 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 uh, fan right here. It opens up the door. You can see that thing spinning. It's actually opening up the vent door and turning on the vent. So when you're cooking, you can air it out in here. My, my, my microwave has a vent on it, but that has, um, that gives you more ventilation. And it's cool because it opens and closes itself. So if you turn it off, it closes the door right back. So it's closing itself back now. So, uh, oh, and so, yeah, so your control unit has your controls for all of the slide outs, one, two, and three. I have the awning extender and retractor buttons here. I have lights underneath each awning that I can turn on and off. I got... Um, a water pump. If I'm if I got water in my tank because I don't have it connected at the at the site, I can pump. I can actually have water running out of my uh, onboard water tank. Water heater runs off electric or gas. Um, if you want to, if you don't want to waste propane, you can run off electric if you got electric hookup. And then uh, that's the ceiling lights that we turned off earlier. And the air conditioning unit back here has its own thermostat for just controlling the air conditioner back here. And that's the air conditioning unit for back here. Uh, this, uh, this one does come equipped with a um, thing in, in the ceiling that does Wi-Fi boosting. I haven't subscribed to it, but that's already built into this RV. All I have to do is subscribe and activate it and I can do uh, Wi-Fi and cell phone signal boosting uh, when I'm out somewhere where there's a weak signal. And that's it. A little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but that's the full view of our RV. And there you have it. That's what it means to go camping with the uh, with us. And that's uh what they call glamping. Thanks for watching.